Grammarly is a free AI powered writing assistant and you could use it across all your favorite apps to really improve your writing. And this is one of the very first tools that started using AI to help with writing and it's being used by more than 30 million people. So it could help you with spelling, it could help you with grammar, with clarity, with tone, and it works across different apps like Gmail, inside of Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Slack, and ton more apps. And they also recently added generative AI, a lot of new options that I'm gonna show you in this video. So you could get started at grammarly.com. I'll put a link in the description. You could go ahead and sign up for free right over here. Now, once you log into the website, Grammarly works across all kinds of different apps. So right here, this is the website version of Grammarly and we could upload any document here and start working with it right inside of this website. So technically we don't have to install it anywhere else. But to really get it to be the most useful, you do want to install it on your browser as a Chrome extension. And you also want to download it to your PC or your Mac. I'm on a Mac here, but the process is exactly the same on the PC. So I'll show you this as well. And I'll also show you over here this premium section because they do have a paid option. So I'm covering this free option here in this video. But this premium paid option gives you a lot more that is not included in the free version. For example, it lets you generate text here with all these different AI prompts. So this is going to make it much faster. And one of my favorite options here is it lets you catch accidental plagiarism. So this kind of makes it a lot more safer than this free version, but this free version does have a lot of useful options. So we'll cover this in this video. Let's go ahead and get started here with Grammarly on the web. This is a very useful place if you're brand new to it. So I'll go ahead and start with this demo document. This one comes with your account as well. And then you'll have more here as you upload more documents from this upload tab. Let's click on the demo document. So here's exactly how Grammarly works. Over here on the right side, it's going to give you an overall score. And then that is based on the goal that you set. So if you click this goals option, you basically could set goals to help you get the score as high as possible. So you could choose what audience you're writing for, what kind of formality you need. Is it informal or formal? What kind of domain of expertise? Is it for academic papers or business or general and your intent? So I'm going to set everything to default for this. And then that's going to recalculate my overall score up here. So it's 74 right now. Now, when it comes to correcting your document right here, the very first thing you'll see are things that have a red underline. Those need to be corrected for spelling. So it'll catch any spelling issues and you'll highlight it. And all you have to do is click it and either dismiss it. If it's something that you want to keep in this case is clearly a typo. So you could go ahead and correct it by pressing accept. It will also help you do things like removing commas. For example, this comma is not required here. So it's telling me to remove the comma. Another one over here is asking me to remove the comma as well. So this correctness is something you want to pay attention to too and just press accept. Then you have clarity. This is one of my favorite options when it comes to grammar. So it will actually help you restructure sentences again with one click. So it says this will be much better if it's rewritten. So it's going to cross this out and write this instead. So you could accept this. And on the left side, the suggestion will appear over here. So if you want to just see things related to clarity or the correctness, which was the spellings that we fixed, you could jump into them directly from there. And you could see a couple of the other things are what is required with the premium version. So if you want to see the engagements, basically help you write something that is more interesting for the reader to be more engaged, you could go ahead and upgrade from here as well. And the same thing with delivery, this is another premium option over here. So you could learn more about the premium. I showed you the pricing and the plagiarism check. This is the one really useful option. A lot of people upgrade just for this one that is available over here if you upgrade. And we now have generative AI. So if you select this option, you could actually try to set a voice for your entire text. So if you want the formality to be more casual and more personable, and then choose a profession here, marketing professionals, let's say, you could use this as the voice, and then you could go ahead and improve the text, for example, here, and it's gonna try to write some text. And here we got some new text, and we could go ahead and insert it from here as well. Now, this generative AI is limited, again, with the free option, but you do have some credits here to use, so I'm using the completely free version 
and I do have this available. So those are all the different things inside of this web version. Next, I'm going to go back to the homepage because a lot of times we obviously don't want to work on the demo. We want to upload our own document. So you want to press upload over here and here you could paste any text. So you technically don't have to upload anything or you could press upload. Let me upload a document that I have on my computer. And every time you upload a document, it's going to set up the goal again. So depending on what you want to do, you could see the default score is 55. But in this case, this is for more a general audience, not for experts. And I want to be neutral that's okay and the domain of expertise is going to be general again and the intent is to actually inform so to educate and i'll go ahead and press done and it's going to do the math here to change the overall score one more time and it looks like it stayed about the same and if you click that you could see a lot of useful things so you can see the word count how long it will take to read this so this is a script so this is very useful for me to know if I read this, it's going to take 11 minutes and you can see kind of the vocabulary, really useful report here that it creates every time. And again, here I could go through this so I could click on correctness. Usually I start here. Anything that needs fixing with spelling, if the word is not correctly capitalized like here, you go ahead and change that. So this is really easy to just click through and make sure all these are set up correctly in all these different suggestion categories. And you could always hide this too. You don't have to always use this left side and you could just simply click on anything that has a blue underline here for removing words, for example. I could just do it this way too. So I could just quickly highlight things like this. And this is sometimes a better way to do it because you could just go through them much, much quicker. Get a little preview, correct it, and it's done. Now, once you get things corrected, if you come to the My Grammarly tab here, you could actually download it from here. So if you click download, it's going to download it in this case as a Word doc. So I have Word installed on my computer, so it downloaded it. You could obviously always copy and paste it and take it into Google Docs or any other type of writing platform or email platform. Now, let me show you the real power of Grammarly because it doesn't take place on Grammarly.com. It takes place across all your favorite apps. So if you press get Grammarly right over here on top, or you could come to the left side apps, you could get Grammarly for your PC or your Mac. It's going to auto detect what computer you're on. You could get it for Chrome. This is one of my favorite ways to use it. And you could get it for iPhone and iPad and your Android. All these are available. So let's go ahead and start with Grammarly for Chrome. Install that. And as long as you're using Google Chrome here, which is my browser of choice, I could go ahead and add this. And all you have to do is press this little extension icon if you are using Chrome and it's going to let you pin this like this and it's going to appear over here as this little icon. And I want to make sure I'm logged into my Grammarly accounts if I'm doing this for the first time, which I am. And this is the power of it. So now if I go to Google Docs, let me show you if I use this inside of Google Docs or inside of Gmail. Now I'm inside of Google Docs and look at this little icon that I have right here. So I could rewrite with Grammarly or I could click this little red icon here and it's going to pop up exactly what I showed you on the Grammarly website. So correctness, clarity, engagement and delivery. Again, some of the paid premium options. But if I want to fix any spelling, I just click this and there we go. I could just click and it says change four to two. So I could choose it right over here. And just like this is fixing it. And if I hide this, I could click on my document over here and I get the same option where I could quickly change it. So this one is rephrasing it. So that's the yellow underline. The red underline here is for typos or misspellings. The blue underline here is going to be for rephrasing sentences for more of a clarity. And this right here, this little icon that I have that brings up this box, this is now inside of all your favorite apps that takes place on the web. As long as you're using Chrome to go inside of Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Gmail, pretty much all your Google apps are going to have Grammarly. It's even inside of YouTube comment section, YouTube description, very useful option with this Google Chrome extension. And if you don't want it, you could always click over here and you could always turn it off and it's going to disappear. So you could always turn it on and off if you are not using it. And the generative AI options, by the way, if you select things and you click this little option over here, you could select some text and you could press improve and then it's going to help you improve that text here. And then you could insert that text instead. You see how quickly that worked. This is the generative AI tool one of my favorite options inside of Grammarly. And you also have Grammarly for Mac and PC. So if you install it on your computer, now it's gonna do it inside of the apps you have in your computer that are installed, like Microsoft Word could now get Grammarly 
with this option so let me go ahead and install this and this is the free version of Grammarly now on my Mac again same on the PC you just download it from their website and this works inside of Word this is something I have installed on my computer inside of Gmail with the Gmail app even inside of Apple Notes which is where I take a lot of notes for example but let me use it inside of Word since we could have this on Mac or PC and there it is it popped up right here it's always in the bottom corner here so again you could use the generative AI tool to use it to write or you could click this option here to fix again the correctness that's the spelling punctuation grammar then the clarity you have where you would write concise easy to read sentences you have engagement and you have delivery so in this case again if I use this I could accept the changes over here so no matter where you use this it kind of looks the same here on the side and if I close it again use it inside of my dock if I hover over as long as Grammarly is installed I could go ahead and click like this and fix any issues that I have over here and this counter here is basically how many issues I have so it says 92 that's how many different types of issues I have based on it and it says 194 if you use the premium suggestions so it's only showing me the suggestions for correctness and clarity because that's what the free version gives you and the generative AI tool is this other option and if you want to get the version for your iPhone or your Android phone you could go ahead and install them here or from these app stores or the Google Play stores on your phone so Grammarly is obviously a really great tool if you want to take your writing to even the next level I recommend learning how to prompt chat GPT correctly because that could help you really speed up your writing so I have a different video that shows you exactly how to get started and maximize the usefulness of chat GPT I'll link that here as well thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one